Hey, people, what's going on? How are you? Hi, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here again. Hi, Bernardino. We have Sandra, Stephanie, and Yancy. Okay, how was your weekend? It was good, or maybe it was so bad. How was it? It's, it's good, teacher. Uh, for the moment, I only I listen the class because right now I start to driving. Okay, perfect. Don't worry. It's okay. It's totally okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, yes. Give me a minute, please. Please, please, please. Do you listen to me? Me escuchan? Yes. Okay, thank yes, you so yes. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, perfect. I hope you had a great weekend. You enjoyed with your family. Maybe you go out, you ate very, very good, right? Maybe pupusas, pizza, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. Perfect. Um, last week, we were talking about um, WH questions, right? Estábamos hablando acerca de las... Um, de las preguntas con W y H. Okay. And we were talking about, let me see, um, do housework, do homework, take a shower, and um, the WH words, for example, when, how often, what, what time, who, and with, uh, with whom or who and uh, the last part with okay do you remember who do you go bike riding with el, el with iba al final u otra forma de decirlo era with whom with whom do you go bike riding and all that stuff okay perfect just to remind just to remind you um, for example, don't forget these words, okay? Um, let's see, Sandra, Stephanie. ¿Qué significa Sandra, Stephanie, when? Cuando. Cuando, okay, <laughs> excellent, excellent, thank you. Excellent. Um, and let me see, where? Where? Donde. Donde. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have an exercise here about WH questions. Okay, tenemos un ejercicio acá de las, de las WH words, de las palabras, con W y H. Dice, completa las conversaciones con las palabras correctas de con WH y luego practica con un compañero. Okay, we have here I watch sports on televisions every weekend. Yo veo eh, los deportes en la televisión todos los fines de semana. Really? Pregunta, what sports do you like to watch? ¿Qué deportes te gusta ver? Okay, so she or he says, soccer, it's my favorite. Okay, so we have the exercise. Tenemos que poner la, la palabra correcta. Lo que nos está, pre, o lo que queremos preguntar. ¿Y cómo vamos a hacer eso? Dependiendo de lo que responda aquí. Esa es nuestra pista. Tenemos que estar listos para ver qué es lo que responde y de esa forma saber cuál palabra vamos a poner. So in this case, do you usually watch soccer? It says on Sunday afternoons. What, which is the word? When. When, right? Thank you so much. When. Okay, on Sundays, on Sunday afternoons. And do you usually watch it at home? 
Dice, no, at my friend's house. La, usualmente, ¿la ves? Uh -huh. Y dice, en casa, at home. En casa, no, at my friend's house. No en la casa de mi amigo. Él tiene una gran televisión, realmente una gran televisión. Ok. Well, which, one is, which one is the word? Where. Where. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Where. Perfect. Then we have, do you go bike riding? Y responde, oh, about once a month. Mm -hmm. Oh, una vez al mes. Which one is the word? Él o, él o ella van bueno. a paseo en bicicleta. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We have a, a different word there. Este teacher. Y ahí se podría ocupar how. How often. Mm -hmm. How often. Sí, porque entra en las... WH questions or WH word. Mm -hmm. Entonces, como le está diciendo frecuencia aquí, remember, ¿qué tan frecuente? Bueno, una vez al mes van ellos a, um, al paseo en bicicleta o a bicicletear. Ok, I love to go bike riding. Yo amo ir en paseo en bicicleta. I go every Sunday. Voy todos los domingos. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you go? So the answer is this. Here is usually at about one o'clock. Which one is our word? What time? What time? Thank you. What, what time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Usualmente hace cerca de de la una en punto, dice. About is like, ahí por la una. Okay, about. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you usually go with? My sister come with us. Ah, my sister, come with us next time. Mi hermana, ven con nosotros la próxima vez. Which one is it? Oh, thank you so much. We have who here. Who do you usually go with? Okay, who. Y luego tenemos el with acá. Si no tuviéramos el with acá, eh, pero de igual forma tenemos sister aquí y sabemos que es, nos está preguntando con quién o queremos preguntar con quién, también podríamos poner with whom, right? With whom. Ok, si no tuviéramos el with acá. Pero como si lo tenemos, solamente ponemos. Oh. Ok, do you have a question here? Questions, questions so far? I think no. Ok, let's continue. Ok, for example, here tenemos otra conversación. Siempre con preguntas. Entonces acá. Nosotros vamos a poner toda la pregunta, ¿ok? So, what sports do you like? Eh, I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. ¿Ok? Nos está diciendo acá eh, los deportes. I like a lot of, muchos deportes. Pero realmente amo voleibol. So, nosotros sabemos que está preguntando qué deportes te gustan. So, here. I usually play with my sister and some friends. ¿Cuál sería? Ajá, who, right? ¿En cómo sería la pregunta? Let's analyze that. Who do... Who do... Play. Ajá, in this case, ¿qué nos faltaría? Do, y luego, va... You, right? El subject. Thank you, el subject. Who do you? Who do you? And then? 
Play. 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 Thank you. Uh -huh. Play. With. With. Thank you so much. Okay, the question mark is here. El, la, el signo de interrogación está aquí, por eso no lo voy a poner acá. Ok. Thank you. En este caso, eh, nos está preguntando, ¿verdad? ¿Con quién? Entonces, cuando tengamos solamente la respuesta, también podemos fijarnos en la, en la acción que tiene aquí. So, la misma acción la vamos a poner en la pregunta o viceversa, dependiendo de lo que nos diga. Si acá estuviera cook, por ejemplo, cook, who do you cook with? ¿Con quién cocinas? ¿Ok? Eh, dependiendo. O si aquí estuviera practice, por ejemplo, who do you practice with? Y ahí se entiende. Ok, thank you so much. Then we have we practice on Saturdays. How would be our question? ¿Cómo sería nuestra pregunta? Let's analyze. When? Okay, yeah. When? Do we? Huh? Do we? Excellent. Um, no, no, no. Let's see. Uh, who do you? Porque como nos está preguntando eh, De... nosotros. Eh, nosotros. Ajá. Entonces, sabemos que cuando nos preguntan eh, o cuando hay una respuesta, we, nos vamos a referir a ustedes. ¿Ok? When do you, cuando ustedes practican. Y luego usted responde, ¿verdad? Nosotros practicamos los sábados. So we have to use when do you. When do you and the verb, the action here, practice. Thank you. When do you practice? And we have the question mark there. We practice on Saturdays. Let's see. The next sí, sí. one. Yeah, tell me. Pero yo sería solamente cuando sean de nosotros. Cuando es de ellos, ese siempre va a ser de y... Sí, sí. Por ejemplo, vaya. Eh, acá porque nos pregunta o, o ellos están diciendo nosotros. Entonces la... la la respuesta se escucha bien personal. Entonces, ¿qué pasaría si acá dijera, for example, they? Si acá estuviera, they practice on Saturday. Entonces, ellos practican los eh, sábados. Entonces, sabemos que acá está preguntando ellos también. When do they practice? Porque estamos hablando de ellos. ¿Ok? Entonces, si... Si tenemos we, acá, ¿cuándo practica? O sea, tenemos we, ¿cuándo practicamos nosotros? Nosotros, ¿ok? Nos incluimos, digamos, right uh -huh. Nos incluimos. Entonces sabemos que alguien más nos está preguntando a nosotros. Ok. Ajá, for example, o oh, eh, entiendo, vaya, también se podría poner <coughs> para... Está cargando. Podría ser también When do we practice? Ok, podría ser Que nos preguntemos a nosotros mismos Right eh, ¿Cuándo practicamos? We practice on Saturdays It's totally ok Como que nosotros mismos Nos estamos preguntando Y no otra persona Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome You're Rosito. Ok Let's see, we practice on Saturdays. Um, here we have, we start at about noon. Empezamos eh, cerca de la mediodía. What time do you start? Yeah, thank you. What time do we start? Pongamos we, okay? Do we start? ¿A qué horas empezamos? Nosotros empezamos eh, a las, o oh, por mediodía, a la mediodía. Thank you so much. Excellent. 
Okay, so we have here, we usually play in our yard. Nosotros usualmente jugamos en nuestro patio, okay? Yard, patio. Pero a veces, but sometimes, we play at the beach. Pero a veces jugamos en la playa. Which one is a wor our word? Where do you play? Mm -hmm. Where do you play? Excellent. Where do you play? Y también, fíjense que también se puede poner o no se sorprendan cuando tengamos una pregunta cuando, eh, por ejemplo, así. Where do you usually play? Es muy común que esta palabra usually se ocupe también en las, eh, en las preguntas. Where do you usually play? ¿Dónde juegan usualmente? Esa sería la, la pregunta, right? We usually play in our yard. But sometimes we play at the beach. Es muy común acá que se utilice usually. Ok. Let's see. Do you have a question so far? Question, question. No questions. Are you sure? Pregunten, pregunten. Porque, ah, recuerden, eh, este jueves o incluso viernes en la mañana tienen que tener su examen ya listo, ¿ok? Eh, porque en la noche ellos mandan ya las notas, ¿ok? Entonces ahí ellos van a ver y a evaluarles, right? So, por eso tenemos que tener llena la plataforma y si hay alguna duda, pues preguntar. Ok. Let's see. Tenemos acá otros, otras WH question que también puede entrar why and how. I, how no me recuerdo si lo enseñamos. I don't remember right now. But why es por qué. Eh, por qué de pregunta. Ok. Why. And because es por qué de respuesta. Ok. Eh, no, no vamos a ver a profundidad preguntas con estas, but you have the vocabulary there. ¿Por qué? And ¿por qué? De razón, a reason. And how? For example, eh, ¿cómo estás? Right? We say, how are you? How, how do you like to, to cook? ¿Cómo te gusta cocinar? Oh, how can I cook? How can I cook rice? ¿Cómo puedo cocinar arroz? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo? And why? Perfect. So, I have here uh, the video of the platform. Ok, acá damos por finalizado las WH questions. What, how often, what, where. Ok. So, continue practicing, ¿ok? Continúen practicando siempre en la plataforma y acá terminamos este tema. So, our topic for today is can or can't. Yo puedo o yo no puedo, ¿ok? Para referirnos a muchísimas cosas, muchísimas. Yo puedo cantar, yo no puedo nadar, and all that stuff. So, uh, let's see. Let's continue with a video on the platform. Just give me a moment, please. Okay, can or can't. Iniciamos nuevo tema hoy. Y si tienen algo, levante la manita o puede... Abrir el micrófono. Let's see. Two simple phrases. Pra Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can 
and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Hi everyone. Can and can't. What can and can't. Can and can't. Okay. Can and can't. Perfect. Veíamos un ejercicio acá, ¿verdad? Que en la forma negativa, esta es nuestra, eh, nuestra forma positiva. Yo puedo. Y esta es nuestra forma negativa. O podría ser también can not. Esta es la contracción. Can't. Pero cannot is the same thing. Entonces, can't, así con, es un poquito más e, can't. Y alargamos más las n, right? La n. Ok? So, practice. Repeat after the audio. Can and can't. Can and can't. Let's see. I want to listen to you. Open your microphone. Uh, one more time. I will play, play it one more time. And and can't. Can and can't. Can and can't. Okay, thank you. Can is like un poquito más a, la forma positiva, can and can't. Con E, un poco más E, can't, y más alargado, can't. One more time, I will play the video. Can and can't. Can and can't. Can and can't. Can and can't. Excellent, thank you so much. Um, el, el video nos decía que podemos repetir esto muchísimas veces. Incluso las primeras veces, cuando escuchemos esta, estas palabras en audios, las vamos a confundir por la pronunciación, pero nos vamos a ir acostumbrando. Ok, so we have another video here. And let's practice. I can't sing very well. No puedo cantar muy bien. Muy bien. Let's see. And a question mark. Can for ability. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow.
teacher. I can listen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you see, I can't listen to you. Perfect, Stephanie. <laughs> you are using can't. Okay, we have Kayla. Oh, look, there's a talent contest. Do you have a question with the vocabulary here? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con el vocabulario? ¿O se entiende todo? ¿Se entiende la conversación? Ya. Yeah. Ok, el, el, el concurso, right? El concurso de talento. Ok, tenemos I can't enter a talent contest. Philip can't enter a talent contest. And he can, he can sing very well. You can sing very well. Le dice Kayla a Philip, right? So Philip can sing very well. Can you sing? Can someone sing here? Who sings? Maybe Fatima. Can you sing, Fatima? No, yes. I, no. I can. Okay, you can, right? Thank you. Um, Stephanie, you can sing, right? <laughs> no, I can't. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe that. <laughs> okay, Ivania, can you sing? I can sing. Mm, no, I don't believe that. Or for example, let's see, Sandra, can you dance? No, I can't. <laughs> really? Maybe so, so 50 50, right? So, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, you can um, dance. Perfect. So let's continue with the um, with the video here. Perfect. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Now the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. 
Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, perfect. Can or can't, right? Um, a ver, tenemos, quiero ver, let's see, here. We have here el esqueleto de la oración. For example, we have subject, we have can or can't, the verb, the action, and the complement. For example, here, subject, I can draw very well. Puedo dibujar muy bien. Or you can cook very well. Tú puedes cocinar muy bien. And she can't speak French. Okay? Um, another thing very important is that we don't add as here. No agregamos la S aquí al verbo porque can es un auxiliar. So, eh, siempre que lo usemos, pues no vamos a agregar eh, ese al verbo. Can es un auxiliar también. So, no agregamos. Aunque, uh, ni en she, qué? ni en he, ni en it. Ya, yeah, tell me. Pero, ¿y si es positivo? No. Tampoco. No, Ajá, no, no, no lo agregamos. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Acá hacemos una excepción. Nunca vamos a ver ni con she, ni con he, ni con it, eh, can. Con can or con can't. Nunca, nunca. Ok. Uh, she can't speak French. He can't drive a truck. Ok. Maybe you can drive a, let's see, a car. You can ride a motorcycle, but... You can't drive a truck. Okay, I can play the drums. 
puedo tocar la batería. ¿Ok? Um, she is, she can play the drums. ¿Ok? She can. Maybe she, yeah, is she. <laughs> um, I can't play the guitar. No puedo tocar la guitarra. ¿Ok? Este verbo sí se ve así como raro. Ay, ¿por qué? Play, pero play no es jugar. Ok, también puede ser tocar un instrumento o eh, reproducir. Reproducir la música, reproducir el video. I can play the video, I can play the audio. Ok, the audio. I can't play the guitar. Um, she can fix the car. Ella puede arreglar el carro. Ok. She can fix the car. You see? She can do it. We can't sing opera. We can't sing opera. But she can sing opera. Ok. So, acá. Si tengo algunas. Ok. Perfect. When do we use can? Cuando usamos can. When we want to talk about abilities, professions, or something artistic. Para habilidades, profesiones, o cosas artísticas. Okay. Uh, here we have climb trees. Climb trees. Sing, dance, roller, roller skate, swim, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle. Okay. We have here abilities. Abilities. I can, I can read. I can write. You can draw. She can cook. He can run. Okay, walk, jump, climb trees, sing. Okay, perfect. Okay. In this case, we have here Kayla. Kayla is doing um, activities here. Kayla is talking about things that she can or can't do. Está hablando de cosas que ella puede hacer y cosas que ella no puede hacer. Entonces, vamos a ver las imágenes, a ver cuáles ella puede hacer. I can't draw. Okay. The Drawing was so bad. El dibujo estuvo muy mal. Let's see. Can she act? I yes. can. Uh -huh. I can act, right? Ella está diciendo, yo puedo actuar. I can act. Okay. And here, can or can't? Can't. Can't, right? She yes. can't. Yeah, poor guy, right? Pobrecito, él. <laughs> she can't sing. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's see. Can or can't hear? Can, can right? Can. Excellent. You see? Uh, here, can or can't? I think can. Maybe can, right? Can. Because she she look like she looks like she's winning the play the game, okay? She can 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 hear. I can or can't. Can't can't. Thank you so much. She can't ice skate very well. She can't. Maybe here can or can't. Can. Can. can, right? Can. And the last one here, can or can't? Can. Can't, can, right? Okay, excellent. She can't cook at all. She can't cook. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Okay. Let me see. Um, do you have a question so far? Question, questions? 
No. No, okay. Thank you so much. We have a listening here about can or can't. Okay. Let's see. Vamos a escuchar a tres personas. Okay. We have number one, two, and three. Entonces, vamos a escuchar el audio y dependiendo lo que él o ella diga que puede hacer, yo voy a parar el, el audio y ustedes me dicen piano, he or she can sing or swim or take pictures or cook and all that stuff. Así que, ¿listos? Ok, vamos a ver. Let's practice this. this. Page 68, exercise 9. Listening. I can do that. Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Check the things they can do well. 1. Craig. I don't really like sports, but I like to swim. I can swim very well. Mm -hmm. He can swim. can swim. He can swim. Thank you. Excellent. Give them a clap. He can swim. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well. He can or can't? Can. Can. Can't. Are you sure? Let's see. Swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well. He can. He can play the piano well. Él puede tocar bien el teclado. Okay, let's see. But I can't sing. But I can't sing. Okay. Pero no puedo eh, cantar. Pero, but I can't sing. He can't sing. Así que no le ponemos check. Okay, let's. Continue. Two, Julie. Julie. I can cook well. I love to cook for my friends and family. She can cook, she can cook right? Can. can. She can cook. Can. And I love to take photos on weekends with my camera. And? Take photos. Photos. Can. She can. She can take photos. She loves that. I think I can do that really well, too. Three. Rob. Rob. Well, I'm an architect, so I can draw really well. He's an architect. So, he can draw very well. Okay. I often do my work on a computer, so I can use computers really well, too. Use the computer. Can or can't? Can. Can, right? Can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I can paint, too. But I don't paint for my job. It's just a hobby. And? He can paint. Paint, okay. He can paint. Okay, let's see. Finish. Let's check the answers. Excellent. Tenemos 10 de 10. Miren. 10 de 10. Oh, wow. Perfect. Okay. Eh, les pongo este audio para que nos vayamos familiarizando, right? A veces es un poquito confuso. Dijo can or dijo can't. Pero nos vamos a ir acostumbrando. Don't worry. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, for example. Quiero hacer un, un ejercicio con ustedes. For example, if we say, but, co, ¿cómo es el, qué, el, qué significa but? ¿Alguien me dice? Pero. Pero. Pero, right? Ok. So, si queremos hacer una, una oración con but, ¿cómo sería? 
¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Mm, I can sing, but I can't cook. I can't cook. Okay. You can sing, but you can't cook. Perfect. Thank you so much. That That's something easy, right? Okay. Another example. Can you give me an example, Ivania? I can dance, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Sing. Sing. Okay. Thank you so much. But I can't sing. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. So, um, let's practice about the last topic. Vamos a practicar también acerca del, del, del tema anterior, acerca de what time, how, why, ¿ok? Para que nos quede súper claro. ¿Por qué? Porque también vamos a, a utilizar WH question con can, ¿ok? So, the ah, we have a reading here. It is like a, an exercise, ¿ok? Tom's job, el trabajo de Tom. Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. Vamos a leer este, este párrafo y luego ellos nos hacen cinco preguntas. So let's analyze, ¿ok? Um, let's see. Vamos a ver. ¿Será que... Eh, sí, Fátima. Can you please read this one? This part, please. Yeah, yeah. Ok. Tom works a uh, bank. He is the man, the man. He is store work every day at 8 a.m. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Who else is here? Um, Ivania, can you please read this part? He lies very close to the park. He works to work every day. His brother and, and sister also work at the bank. At the bank. Thank you so much. Okay, leaves. This one leaves. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Stephanie, it's your turn. Stephanie, Stephanie. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but they do they do not live close to the bank. They drive cars to work. They start work at night am in the bank. Tom Tom is the boss. Is the boss. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see, Sandra Carolina, is your turn. He helps all the workers and tells them what to do. He likes his job. He is also very good at this job. Perfect, excellent. And let's see, are you there, Jensi? How are you? Jensi, está ahí? Que nos pueda leer esta última parte, please? Okay, maybe Jensi is not there. Many customers like Tom and they say hello to him when they come to the bank. Tom likes to, to talk to the customers and make them feel happy. Tom really likes his job. Okay, first of all, Tom works where? At a bank. Okay, he's the manager. Él es el jefe del banco. He's the manager. And... He starts work every day at 8 a.m. Okay, perfect. Another thing, where does he live? He lives very close to the bank, okay? And the, his brother, o sea, el hermano de él y su hermana, también also work at a bank, at the bank. 
también trabajan en el mismo banco, ¿ok? Pero dice, pero, but, ellos no viven cerca del banco. They live far. Ellos viven lejos del banco. ¿Ok? No close, no cerca. Ellos llegan, how do they get to work? They drive cars to work. Manejan carro. Ok, another thing. Does he like his job? ¿Le gusta? Yes, he does. Le gusta su trabajo. You see, he likes his job, su trabajo. And he is also very good at his job. Y es muy bueno en su trabajo. ¿Ok? Dice, muchas, eh, muchos clientes, como Tom, eh, dice, ellos le, let's see, and they say hello to him, ellos le dicen hola a él cuando él llega al banco. Él es muy amigable, entonces. It's very friendly. Tom likes to talk to the customers and make them feel happy. A él le gusta hablar con los clientes y hacerlos sentir felices. A Tom realmente le gusta su trabajo. You see, Tom really enjoys his job. Okay. Let's see. What time does Tom start to work? A A M. Perfect. Thank you so much. Next one. Does Tom drive a car to work? No. No. No, right? Thank you so much. Perfect. Does Tom live close to the bank? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Who is the boss in the bank? Tom. Tom. Tom, right? Tom is the boss. Okay. Let's see. How does Tom feel about his job? He likes his job. He likes his job. Excellent. That answer was very quickly. Esa fue una respuesta muy rápida, right? Yo pensé que iban a leer esto, pero no. Está segura de lo que sabe. Perfect. He likes his job. Okay. Finish quiz. Okay, we have 100%. Excellent. Tenemos 100. Perfect. Ojalá. Y yo sé que así va a ser. Así van a salir en el examen. Okay, excellent. I have here another one. Mm, let's see, another WH lesson. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we have here an exercise. Tenemos que elegir where, what, or who. Where. Where, where right? Where. It, it's a place. Es un lugar. Thank you. Where. This one. Hmm? We have how how mm, let's see mm, acá tenemos when creo que es, es, sería mejor when porque es cuando when okay when mayormente si tenemos hora utilizamos what time right mm -hmm. pero en este caso solo tenemos when okay when perfect is when how Thank you. ¿Cómo está tu hermano? Él está súper bien. O oh, grandioso. Gracias por preguntar. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This one. What is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's my electronic dictionary. Mi diccionario electrónico, right? What? Is when? Why? Why do you take English class? Mm, yeah, the why. Do you remember the meaning of why? 
¿Alguien? ¿Por qué? Porque, thank you so much. Cuando queremos preguntar eh, algo, una razón. Ok, acá la pista principal, because. Viene después de why. Excellent, thank you. You're very smart. This one. Where? Where does your father go? Where? Mm -hmm. Nos está preguntando dónde, right? They at the post office. Okay. How? How do I come by? ¿Cómo cocino? Yeah, thank you. How? ¿Cómo puedo cose eh, coser? ¿Cómo puedo cocinar arroz? Thank you. Here? When is the party? When. When. When, right? Ajá, la fecha. The date. Why? Why? Why are you sad? ¿Por qué estás triste? Porque mi perro está, está enfermo, sick. Está enfermo. Why? Thank you. Where? Where is the Where? The place, right? Thank you so much. The place. En la cuarta avenida está el banco. Ok. Finish quiz. Ok. 10 of 10 points. 100%. You see, that was, that was easy, right? Estuvo fácil, fácil. Okay. Bien. We have here can or can't. Perfect. Um, let's see. No nos queda mucho tiempo. Vamos a empezar a ver las questions with can. Dice acá. Que tenemos el esqueleto del, um, de acá de las preguntas. Can, plus subject, you, verb, en este caso es dance, and the complement, salsa. Can you dance salsa? Y podemos responder, yes, I can, no, I can't, ok, no, I can't. Can she drive a car? Yes, she can. Or no, she can't. She can't drive a car. Okay. Can we sing? Podemos cantar. Yes, we can. Sí, sí podemos. Or no, we can't. We can't. Okay. We have here, I can draw, but... Oh, let's see. Puede ser acá la negativa. ¿Puedo dibujar? Uno, dos, uno, dos. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Yes. Yes. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Yo sí? Yes. Ok, yes. perfecto. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can draw, but I can't whistle. Ok, puedo dibujar, pero no puedo silbar. Who can whistle here? ¿Quién puede silbar acá? Let's see. No, you can't. Who, who can? Really, silbar. Let's see. Something like that. A ver, aunque sea así. Como zapatero, right? <laughs> okay, no. Bien, son habilidades, right? <ríe> o, por ejemplo, hay personas que pueden silbar, pero duro cuando se van en el bus, cuando no les ha parado, right? Y... <ríe> Qué habilidad, es una habilidad muy importante para los buses, right? Ok, tenemos esa habilidad. Eh, también de cosas artísticas, podemos usar can or can't. 
¿ok? So, mañana vamos a continuar con las habilidades y vamos a seguir viendo las preguntas and all that stuff. So, do you have a question so far? No question. No It, questions. No questions. Easy peasy, right? Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to study. Don't forget to complete the platform. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Rest a lot. You and tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye.